What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Sword, and we got to Sir Chester, and about to go check out the gym challenge here. Looks like it's gonna be an ice gym. Or maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe it's not even ice. Ah, I lost. It all went to pot. There must have been something wrong with my strategy, but I did just what I've seen Lee do in battles. Here, take it. It's the Rock Leader's League card. You should check out the gym leader you'll have to face to- Oh, it's Rock. Okay. I can take out Rock. And me? I gotta figure out what to put on my team once and for all, and no more of this doubting. Yeah, dude, you keep changing up your team. Just keep Toxtricity on your team, at least. He becomes pretty beast. Well, Toxel. I don't think he evolved Toxel yet. I don't know. I think I'm gonna start off with Gyarados now. Just because Gyarados needs to catch up with those levels. Oh, Moonball. Okay, nice. Yeah, let's just uh, see what else we can buy now. Can I buy Ultra Balls now? Yep. And if you guys noticed too, um, I also changed up... Uh, I changed up my trainer's look a bit. I'm just hoping like these are enough. I'll buy four more of those just to keep it at 10. And I also did something interesting. Um, I think at the end of uh, one of the episodes it talked about um, it talked about how there's someone that can like recreate fossils and all that stuff. So apparently it's like four combinations for fossil Pokemon in here, which I found would actually pretty interesting. Make sure to receive the trap detector up ahead too. You'll need it for the gym mission. Oh, trap detector. You know, I've been thinking about, I've been thinking about these statues that happen at all the gym challenges and they remind me of, um... What was it? I guess old school gyms in the Elite Four. I think they had statues there at like the entrance before you would enter. Uh, yeah, give me give me the details, bro. The reason you need to simple there are invisible pitfalls everywhere here. If you fall in one, you'll have to start again from the last platform you reach. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. What if, like, the first step out there <laughs> was a hole? I just got in here. What do you mean am I used to it? I keep forgetting to click because I'm so used to them just automatically sending out their Pokemon. Okay, I wonder if uh, her Bulldore has sturdy ability. But Gyarados can just hit the crap out of everybody. Oh, you yeah, have weak armor. Oh, this rock move is about to hurt. <laughs> I think now I can get affected by ground type moves. Uh, maybe having Gyarados do this gym might not be the best thing to do. I might have to just have uh, Rillaboom out there doing his thing. Or maybe it's just because he's under leveled, or no, not even under leveled. He's at like the right level for like these battles and stuff. But maybe it's just because they made it like more noticeable. Oh. Okay, you get like a little checkpoint. At 
least I'm letting you guys see where all the pitfalls are at. Oh. Alright, that way's off limits. Oh wow, and they show you where all the pitfalls were at? Okay. Uh-oh. That'll really make me walk all the way around? Oh man, I felt it too right there. I feel like just walking through now and just having all the pitfalls happen. I wonder if he's gonna have a Dreadnought on his team since he's a rock type and water type. And it'll kinda be like his answer to to water Pokemon in a sense, it'll just do neutral damage. Battle me, bro. Yeah, I don't think he'll... Oh, unless he does have a Colossal. Either way, Colossal and um, Dreadnought both have, I think, like their own like custom Dynamax uh, form. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. But it's not like I had any moves to hurt him from like a distance. Let's get rid of that burn because that'll be annoying in a battle. pathway. Snap. We have a sandstorm we have to navigate through. I think I'm kind of getting the hang of it.
Yeah, bump that. Let me walk on. Well, let me walk on these. <laughs> Plus, it's kind of like a checkpoint too. I think once you make it to the the little pads or platforms. I think Sudowoodo has sturdy on him, so he can definitely get in a rock type move. But it's good I have Intimidate on to lower that attack, so he won't take as much damage. I'm thinking for the next gym battle, because I'm pretty sure he'll only have like one Pokemon that'll have Sturdy. I'm gonna... Okay. I'm pretty sure he's only gonna have like one Pokemon that has like the Sturdy um, ability. So what I do is Dragon Dance um, that first turn and have Gyarados take a bunch of damage or whatnot and then have Dragon Dance boost uh, I think my attack and my speed so I should be good enough to kind of use Waterfall to like one hit KO especially if it's like Rock Fire if he brings out Colossal yeah it looks like I got a plan in place this is like the fun thing about Pokemon is you always like come up with like some type of strategy before the battle Are they really having me go backwards? Okay, another platform. Hey, okay. This one had a lot, I think. All right, and with that, I think we uh, completed the gym challenge, actually. You did wonderfully, wonderful. Now, Gym Challenger, uh, let me... Okay, I already did. I totally forgot I healed up Gyarados. And we got the amulet coin too, so we're gonna about to get hella money. <laughs> the rock badge. I really wish they let you customize your, uh, your challenge suit though, because I don't want the red. To be honest see once I get a look at his jacket I can kind of tell that he's a rock type but it's like everything else with his attire doesn't show it hey there the name's Gordy I admit I feel a little bad for doing this to a gym challenger but I'm going to use this match to show the crowd that my Pokemon are unbeatable so let's get this over with challenger okay well I hope you have six Pokemon on you since you have six Pokeballs on you Yeah, let's see how well of a Dragon Dance set up is. Don't tell me it's going to be like level 42, though. Okay, level 40. take one more one more hit basically with Gyarados like that oh you're about to speed yourself up and increase your attack okay maybe I won't be able to take one more attack from that um Let's swap Rillaboom out there. Or Rillaboom. 
I don't know why. I think Gorilla Boom would have been nice, but I guess they didn't want to have too much emphasis that he's a gorilla. But Gorilla Boom kind of worked out nicely. Ooh. I started off this battle bad. Now we got a lowered speed. Uh, at least on Rillaboom. Shuckle? <laughs> we'll just keep. Wait, what's the typing on Shuckle? Bug Rock? Oh, I could have switched into Car Coal for this one. I didn't even think about that, but let's just do Drum Beating, just because we get the Grass Stab from it. And I think Overgrow might kick in in a bit. I wasn't expecting him to be bugged. I don't know why I didn't know Shuckle was a bug type. Just a bunch of rocks. <laughs> Are you rocking steel though? Uh, slowest Pokemon would be the fastest now. Oh, never mind. I'm thinking of a different move. Okay, now you're just fully rock. Maybe you're rocking ground because that bottom dirt part could be just like implying that he's a ground type and a rock type. So maybe that was times four on him. Okay, yeah, it is a Colossal. Um, it'd be petty if I put, like, Dynamax Colossal versus Dynamax Colossal. <laughs> but we're gonna Dynamax Gyarados. Not yet. I'm not crumbling to the dust just yet. We can still battle. Okay, that's level 42. I'm hoping this hits. I, I don't know if it like changes up the accuracy for a move when you Dynamax. But I'm pretty sure that Aqua Tail does more damage. Yeah, buddy. Like a giant mountain boulder? Hiya! <laughs> Gigantamax. No lie, the next one has pretty fire. Yep, that's Colossal's uh, custom Dynamax form. Or Gigantamax form. And it's game over for you, buddy. Ooh, Gyarados got 2,000 from that. So if anybody's watching, hasn't played, or hasn't gotten to the rock gym yet, if you're thinking about starting off with a water type, don't do it. Start off with a grass type or something. A grass or a fighting type. And then you can switch into your water type after that. 
um, because everything else should be weak to water. That was impressive. Rules are rules. Here, take this rock badge. Put it there, buddy. You can now catch Pokemon of up to level 50. Oh, don't worry about me. I just need to train harder. That's all. Rock Tomb? No, thanks. I wanted Earthquake. I think now is like a great time to kind of move Morgrim up. I think Morgrim has potential to be pretty beast for the team. Um, and then I already know what his last form looks like because uh, I'm on like the Facebook Pokemon groups and saw someone post it. <laughs> that battle was brilliant. That gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Sir Chester has some really great restaurants. I got some things I want to talk to you about, so let's head to a restaurant to celebrate your win. The name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. Okay. <laughs> Onward to Bob's Your Uncle. Ooh, what's that? Guessing that's gonna be the place, but we're gonna heal up first. Cause you never know if you're gonna have to battle, you know. I'm really trying to find some cooler shoes for my character too. I'm thinking either black and blue or white and blue. Probably white and blue for what I'm wearing now. But I don't know. I, I do changing up the jeans. I don't know, is this Bob's your uncle? It's not like they really have the sign in English for me. Okay, yeah. Got that gym badge, Blades. Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. I've been trying to find out more about the Darkest Day and the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Wait, hold on. No way, what's this? A new chapter of the old Galar Logans? <laughs> a fifth tapestry, a new chapter, or absolute fantastic poster. We're just gonna say a new chapter. The heroes look sad, and where are the sword and shield? What was the meaning of this picture? Yeah, it looks like the sword and shield are like buried or something. Some kind of seal, yeah, it looks like they trapped them or something you think so i guess it could be that they were sealed away or maybe they've gone into some kind of sleep based on those statues we saw back in stow on side the sword and shield were actually two pokemon right that's right that's my take on it at least you remember the pokemon we met that day do you think it could have been one of them either the sword or the shield pokemon you met them <laughs> we indeed did come on you know what i'm talking about right blades and the slumbering wield, yeah, I remember. That mad Pokemon we ran into in the fog, don't you think that could have been it? Oh, that's right, you lot have been in the slumbering wield. I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. You got to tell me more. How about we discuss this over a meal? Go on, what do you want to eat? Let's get our orders in. I want some chicken tenders some steak fascinating all right the next thing to do now that we're done eating is to have a look around sir chester let's inspect the hero's bath all right oh i thought i was gonna walk there myself The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath. Though, hmm. Who exactly were the heroes that ba bathed here? I think I'll have to look into that. 
You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering world. Perhaps you two can become new heroes. What, like some hero waving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one? Though I guess I'd fancy a shield if I had to take my pick. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we show her, Blades? Think we can pull off a real heroic battle? Yeah, dude. Sonya treated us to a great meal. After that curry, I feel like I've got the energy to wrestle a beware. I don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might just as well see what you can do. I heal up your Pokemon for you, Blades, so give it your best. Oh, she was already going to heal us up. That could have saved us like 12 seconds. <laughs> Time for a little exhibition match, starring the future champion. See, this is the hop we know. Let's go, hop. Let's see what we can do. Hop actually made it kind of fun to have a rival again. Ah, oh, you brought back Wooloo and evolved into Dubwool. I'm counting on you, partner. Okay, glad I didn't use Sucker Punch. That would have been a waste of a turn. And plus, my, uh, my Morgrim, he's a modest nature, so I don't see myself really using special moves like that. But luckily we get a stab on Draining Kiss, too. Ooh, that hurt. <laughs> I don't know. If I do Sucker Punch, I'm hoping it'll take it out. <laughs> if not, Morgrim's about to faint. <laughs> oh, you used a freaking Hyper Potion. <laughs> Oh man, what a waste of a turn. So now I'm about to switch Morgrim out because I don't want to waste a turn to do revive on him. But I got Rillaboom with the Brick Break, so he's about to come in clutch with that. It's kind of good that Rillaboom is a physical attacker and I think he has high physical defense as well. So I think, I think Rillaboom has the best attack and defense. Um, the fire type has Cinder Ace has more balance stats, and then uh, Inteleon is your speedy special attacker. Yeah, that was a proper move. send out Toxtricity because we're going to use that electric on him. Shock the butts off his core of a night. But it's good to see he brought back Pokemon from the start of the journey. Because he did have a Rookity. Oh, I thought it was going to one-hit KO him. Oh, they actually made Scary Face kind of creepy. But what's your answer to... You're gonna use Drill Pack? I thought he would have something up his sleeve or something for me. I don't know, all I know is Toxtricity is not gonna go up against any rock or ground type on my team, because that's a setup. <laughs> Hey, Gerda's finally hit level 40. Oh, you want to learn Hydro Pump. Um, no, we're not going to learn Hydro Pump. Look at my special attack. It's 53. There's there's no use in having that. That's, that's the whole setup for failure. Snorlax. Okay, for Snorlax, we can just send back out, uh... Oh, actually, no. Last time, I think I used Toxic on his Snorlax. And that actually came in clutch, because his Snorlax didn't go to sleep at all, either. So 
So we can always just use Toxic and then maybe switch out to another Pokemon. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, because Toxic gets stronger like each turn, basically. Uh, if he's gonna use another... Uh, yeah. I'm trying to decide who I want to send out. But I think I want to send Gyarados out. So I want to see if I can also use Crunch to make his Gyarados flinch, maybe? Oh, Crunch did a lot. Oh, it was a critical hit. Okay, that's why. That explains it. Steady on, partner. I feel your pain and we'll get them back for it. At least he's more confident in his Pokemon. I'm kind of wondering if uh, he's going to use a, another Hyper Potion. Wow. <laughs> it would live him with like a sliver of health. Okay, yeah, he used up all his potions on, um, or maybe he only had one to use in the battle. Used it on his double. That Snorlax didn't give that much EXP. I don't, I don't know what Pokemon this is gonna be. <laughs> Pinchurchin? So I'll send out a steel type to kind of be safe. Pin Kirchin. Yo, what? What are you? <laughs> okay, you gotta be rock or steel. Are you ghost rock or ghost steel? But it must have a poison ability or something because of those pins sticking out of it or it's spikes. Oh, you avoided it? It's kind of cool we see him with like a new Pokemon. And then I'm wondering if it evolves. So it's level 39, it must evolve at like 40 something then. Okay, you're steel type. <laughs> He's really ready to mess my Corviknight up. We'll use Hone Claws. And then Hone Claws, Steel Wing maybe? Or do I want to use, I'll probably use Power Trip, just, wait. Oh, snap. He's electric. Electric and what though? Wow. I'm hoping he's not just like set up to wreck my whole team now because I was wasting time trying to figure out what type he was. Um, Brick Break would kind of verify what type he is. Okay, no, you're just electric then. You're like an electric tank.
Oh, that hail came in clutch. <laughs> oh, Morgan got to level 42. So he's about to send out Inteleon. I think my best might be to send out Toxtricity. <laughs> I don't know if his Inteleon is faster than my Pokemon, to be honest. Think you got me cornered? Not even close. That'll be the greatest when I steal this win back. Have a taste of our true power? This wave is going to crash right over you. I wonder if he has a different saying depending on the... Are you going to take him out? That's a strong move. Right? Yep. I probably should have just... Probably should have just used, uh, what was it? Done. I could always put Rillaboom out there, Hyper Potion him up, and then Hyper Potion revive. I want I want everybody on the team to get the EXP from from the Pokemon. No, like Grass Electric would have been a nice type for Rillaboom too. I like how that electricity just like surges around him from being paralyzed. Definitely would have been looking like a Super Saiyan. So one thing I do find is interestingly enough like fun about this game is that they didn't give any of the starters dual typing for their final evolution. So Inteleon is strictly just a water type, Rillaboom strictly just grass type, and Cinderace is strictly just fire type. A45. Yeah, look at that. 135 attack. And we almost have 160 health too. Our speed's kind of bad, 91. Can't even beat you, my true rival, but I think I'm starting to see the light. Hey, Morgrim's evolving. Oh, okay. Grim Snarl. When the hair wrapped around his body, helping to enhance its muscles, this Pokemon can overwhelm even Machamps. What? And that's all hair? <laughs> wow. Spirit Break. Yeah, what the heck is Spirit Break? Oh, it's a physical fairy type move. Okay, now my physical attack is like really high up there. So I'll need to end up changing up his nature to really get the best of uh, <laughs> his attack stat. But wow, a physical fairy type move called Spirit Break. I don't know if that was in the previous game or not. I think that's new. Thanks, you two gave the right proper battle. At the rate you both are going, even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into the things in the slumbering wield. I'm going to keep challenging the gym. Then once I get that gym badge, I'll be heading for Route 9 to take on it next. I guess Spike Month is where we're gonna go next. Seems like he finally shook off that gloom. Leon worried if Hop wasn't feeling all right. As his rival, you wouldn't like it either, right? See ya. Later, Gator. But, guys, with that said, I'm gonna end this episode off here. We hit like a longer video just cause of that battle and I wanted to have more content in this episode for you guys but i hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like for the video it helps out the video and also subscribe to my channel it helps out the channel a lot and with that said later